Okay. Hi, families. Um, it is time to learn about life cycles. So I ordered some caterpillars and they came in the mail. Oh, this Ooh. is so exciting. So in this one, it looks like there are five. Oh, there's one hiding up there in the lid. So there are five caterpillars in this cup. There's five in this cup as well. And we have seeds to plant some wildflowers for the butterflies when they are ready to be released. And we have a really cool habitat for them to get into. Um, these are sugar packs, so when we have butterflies, we can put sugar Ooh. packs and make some sugar water for uh, the butterflies to eat because they um, will have have to eat that to grow. So I want you to see how big or how small they are right now. Um, and we're going to just kind of look at them every day to watch them grow. And as soon as they spin their cocoons or their chrysalis, I will hang them in our very cool butterfly tent so we can watch them as they make their changes in their life cycle. So, um, the first stage is eggs, and they didn't send me eggs, they sent me caterpillars, so I don't have any um, eggs to show you in the first stage of the life cycle, but stage two is the pupa stage, right? And um, that's where we have the um, caterpillars. These are painted lady um, butterflies and um, they look like that. yeah they have the, the orange and black wings and I want you to notice the pattern on the wings is identical on both sides it's that's uh, symmetry so they have symmetry on both sides of their uh, wings so I think that's all I have to share for today. We will take another look at the caterpillars tomorrow on day two and see how they have grown. Um, if you want to kind of write down in a journal what they look like today on day one, then you can make notes every day as we check and see how long it takes them to spin their chrysalis. And this is my family. Hey. Hey, Paxton, say hi, everybody. Hi. <laughs> <laughs> okay, um, this is our short little life cycle lesson for today, and we'll be back tomorrow with a new post.